Ty and Brad are seeding the pond, getting out fathead minnows, and I am actually stocking the pond right behind them. So I've got about 5,000 largemouth bass in a few tanks. I already did a couple. Send these, uh, send these dudes down the way. We're stocking bass, harvesting fathead minnows. If we don't get all the fathead minnows out, no big deal. These bass will. We'll take care of them for us. Get this oxygen stone out of here. Set it over there. See all that bass. Coming down the pipe. I'm going to move these on down here. That way I can just keep on rolling. All right, I'll check back in here just a little bit. After these messages, we'll be right back. All right, they're getting done on their end. These are the last one on my end. These bass we'll need first thing in the spring. So all we gotta do is hope they all live through the winter and uh, we'll be stocking them first thing in the spring. Okay, so we got our net staked up here and staked up here and we got exactly what we wanted, a pile of fat head minnows. So once we get all the debris cleaned out, we're going to load them up into buckets. We're going to load them up into buckets, but we got to get all these weeds out first so we don't damage these delicate fish. I got the video on, so just kind of spin it around and we'll... Uh... All right. So if we fill the bucket about four inches with water, and then top it off. This is how we calculate how many minnows go into each tank and how many we get out of our harvest. So right there, it's going to be 20 pounds of minnows. Ty's going to take it on up the line, right up to Brad. And we'll put five of those buckets into each hole. And we'll take them back to the fish shed for the fish sales later this week. So again, we, it doesn't take, we're not going very far, so it doesn't take uh, much water. Going for 20 pounds of minnows, it's gonna be about seven. All right. Another batch headed up to the truck. Taking them up to the truck, loading them in. All right, cleaning this pond out, and we got a bunch of really nice yellow perch. We got a whole, whole net full of them. John, if you want to hold that bucket, I'll scoop these in it. Just kind of a little bit less water. That'll work. Scoop those in. Take a peek at uh. Peak, we got all kinds of goods. We'll get that all cleaned up and sorted out. Get these fish to their homes so we can restock it. Take it on up, Ty. That's a good one. That's a nice little bonus to clean out a pond and have some big yellow perch. All right, we're back at the fish shed now. These are all the raceways holding the fish. Some muskies underneath that foam insulation. We can show you them in a second. Brad's gonna let let her eat. Might be a little too close. And it comes. And it's been a coming in hot. That's take number one.
Alright. It'll you know, get set up for tank number two. While we're waiting for Brad, why not? Look uh look at some cool fish. Why not? Why not? I couldn't think of anything better to do. Alright. Them are some northern pikes. Absolutely. I think a lot. There's the there's the man, the myth, the legend, the brains behind the whole operation. You know what's hilarious? Yeah, I know what's hilarious. Mark Weston. Because we're gonna deliver some fish to him Friday. Yeah. He says he's printing the fish, and I said Nathan Herman, the man, the myth, the legend himself. I just said that. All right, so we're taking a sneak peek at the pure spotted muskies. These are some giants. These guys are like six months old and they're already like 15 inches long. How cool is that? All right, Brad did not wait for us on tank number two. I can't believe we're missing this must-see TV right here before our eyes. I so apologize to those of you who uh, wanted to see the beginning of that. We were distracted. Hey, Austin, come show us these. Uh, so these are the pure muskies and now hiding underneath. Uh, we found that the muskies stay alive a lot longer if they don't have to uh, be exposed to a bunch of light. These are the tiger muskies. These are a mix between the northern pike and the pure muskies. Did you show the bobcat muskies? No. Alright, the these are the tiger muskies. Cool, cool, cool. See the stripes. Yeah, the stripes. Yeah. Mixed between that pike and the muskie. And these are the pure strains. Right. Now we're getting ready to unload the perch. All right, so as I'm carrying this bucket of perch along, I almost slip and fall. Give you a little tour. These are the albino catfish. Those are the regular catfish. Those are all leftover fish from the fish sale days. These are all largemouth bass, five to eight inches. All kinds of red-eared sunfish and crappies and all that in here. What do you got in this one right here, Austin? It's got three to five inch perch. Right there, what I'm looking at? Yep. Three to five inches? Well, that was a leaf, but it's three to five inch perch in the tank. Oh, gotcha. And then these are where we put in the, the big ones. Yep. Okay. All right, we'll wrap up this tour here. Austin's picking through uh, the perch and uh, getting the bigs and the smalls separated. He's joined by uh, Kermit down there, hanging out with Austin. And to finish off this tour, we've got, what do you got in here, Austin? Bluegill. All right, so these are just regular bluegills, like little three inchers, whole pile of them. What do you call a pile of bluegills? Slug. A slug. And then these are golden shiners hanging out down there. And the, everybody's favorite fish, the smallmouth bass and the walleye. Smallmouths hanging out here. There's a whole pile of them in there. They're just hard to see. And then the walleyes. Let's see. I think these are just the five inch walleyes over here. We got some bigger ones over on the other side. Five inch walleyes. All right. Signing off. Gotta get back to work. And then all of our water from the fish shed drains down this on down 
yonder. We're gonna have a frog race. We're gonna see who's gonna win, the racing frog or the bullfrog. Looks like the racing frog's off to the fast start. He's a little bit ahead. Come on, you guys are lame. Let's go. Let's go. Get going. Oh, I'm gonna fall in. And the racing frog won. And then that drains into the next pond, which then drains down to the next pond. Pretty cool setup. <laughs>